can't believe I actually won something by calling into a radio station. But here we are in Oracle Music's recording studio about to listen in on auditions for Top Tone's newest band member. For a diehard tonalist like me, it's the ultimate fan experience. But this sketch isn't just about hitting the high notes. We're also going to take a look at the other kind of audition here, as in the process of hearing. And this tiny room represents where all the magic happens. The inner ear, specifically the cochlea. This conch shell instrument is our recurring symbol for the cochlea. It's here to remind you that everything we're going to cover today happens inside this bony, shell-shaped labyrinth. But before we dive in, let's hit a super quick review of how sound reaches the cochlea in the first place. Sound waves funnel down the ear canal and then get turned into vibrations by the tympanic membrane. These vibrations get amplified by the ossicles of the middle ear and are then transferred to the inner ear. That's where the cochlea takes over and eventually turns those waves into electrical signals that the brain interprets as sound. Now, the cochlea consists of three lymph-filled channels, the scala vestibuli, the scala tympani, and the scala media. This soundboard should help you keep them straight. First of all, it has scalable faders, because all three channels start with the word scala. Then, moving over to the far left, the photo of the vest-wearing cowboy riding a bull is a reminder of the scala vestibuli as well as that night Joe decided to try some bull riding karaoke after way too many margaritas that were all virgin margaritas. Then, on the right, a tympani icon should help you remember the scala tympani. The scala vestibuli and scala tympani are continuous with each other, which means they share the same lymph fluid, called paralymph. The scala vestibuli extends from the base of the cochlea to its end, or apex, and the scala tympani curves back from the apex to the base on the other side. Now, in between those two lies the scala media, just like this media mixer logo in the middle of the board. The scala media is often referred to as the cochlear duct. Okay, now that we've got a handle on the anatomy, let's take a look at what actually happens inside these channels, starting with this impatient auditionee. The oval window he's peering through represents the oval window. It butts up against the end of the scala vestibuli. That's why this window is on the same side of the soundboard as that guy on the bull. And he's tapping with a stapler, of all things. At least that should help you remember that the stapes is the ossicle that contacts the oval window. And it's this pressure from the stapes that turns mechanical vibrations in the middle ear into pressure waves in the fluid of the scala vestibuli, which then go up, around, and back through the scala tympani. 